Welcome, guys. Uh, we started working on a plasma cutter, a uh, budget one, and, and today we're going to show you how far we've gotten on the first few hours of it. Um, we've got two axes moving, uh, seem to be going okay. Uh, these parts are 3D printed. We're not sure if we're going to need to update to metal or not, but um, that's today's video. Just working on getting some parts 3D printed for the uh, CNC cutter that we're working on. Right here we're printing some uh, end caps for the tubing just so we get a nice clean edge on the end caps. We've got a few of them done already. Um, we've got we've got these made so we're just end caps they'll push into the tubes. Um, keep a nice clean edge and then we have these spacers to go through where the um, bolts will go so we don't uh, crush the uh, crush the pipes when we tighten up the, the bolts to each other. We made a little drilling gauge so when we drill the holes through the pipe uh, we have it at one inch from one side and three inches from the other from the same side to get some distance so we get the uh, hole space properly uh, when we put them together. Well we think we finished up uh, printing all the 3D parts we needed for the CNC uh, plasma cutter. Uh, we already showed um, the standoffs and the end caps. Um, we made this piece, this is going to be our, our x-axis. Um, we're waiting on the bearings to come in for that, but what we'll have is we'll have one a set of bearings in here and a set of bearings in here uh, running this way. And then in these slotted holes, we'll have another set of bearings running this way and this way right here. And those will have a set screw in them to make them adjustable to be able to uh, set the angle and to be able to make it uh, run on that square tubing. We'll show more of that when we get the bearings. Um, we finished up printing these um, bearing holders uh, for our gantry. And one thing about these is we have two sides, this side and this side, where the shafts go in and they're fixed. They're just held in place by one set screw. On these two sides, we have three set screws and the hole is slotted so it allows us it allows us to um a little tough to tell but it, it'll allow us to um tighten those bearings up against the up against the two inch tubing that we're going to use on there to uh to ride on we did get our bearings in so we're going to get that assembled um these we decided to print instead of weld because we felt we could get them squared up on our on our main gantry body a little easier. So they square up, um, they pop on real nice. We have drilled and tapped the holes to hold these on. And then these pieces will go on the outside and um, we'll drill these holes out a little bigger. So if we need any adjustment on the plasma cutter for the um, X axis, uh, to make sure it's running level to the bed we'll be able to do that so we'll get those bolted on we'll get these built up and then once uh, before we start bolting all of that together we made a little bracket that we'll have to weld onto the pipe and um, with a support underneath to hold this uh, on there so we can mount the x-axis uh, the two inch piece to go on there so that's what we're working on today
for the moment of truth to see if we can get it to slide on the, the stock piece we have over here. to tighten up the bearings and adjust them, but our gantry is going to move. Um, no play this way at all without our bearings even adjusted yet. So it looks like it's going to, going to work out just good with these 3D parts. <clears throat> Again, this is just a scrap piece we brought in, and then we'll have the uh, x-axis going out there. So we printed this part for the x-axis, and uh, we made a little slot in it, a one-inch slot for our torch holder. Uh, to keep it uh, square on there. We also put slots in here for these bearings to fit inside. Um, those are held in place by a quarter inch bolt that's that's um, tapped into this area here so that holds it in tight. We also added slotted holes here for the other axis and in this area we have allen screws that go into the slots and push on these two sets of bearings so that we can get a tight um, a tight grip onto the onto the tube we're sliding on it also allows us to set any angle that we might need yeah to keep a per uh, to keep a perpendicular angle on there so it's a it's a simple design we did print some little standoffs in there for those bearings um, these are locking nuts they're snug I wouldn't say they're tight and that uh, gives us a little bit of a ability to tighten these up against with these set screws. Now since we tapped into this plastic, um, we don't need any locking nuts on those Allen screws. They, they're snug enough into the plastic, they're, they're almost self-locking. Um, this thing did turn out very good, better than expected. We did this as just as a proof of concept. We didn't intend to use it, we just um, we thought we'd have to make one out of an aluminum angle iron but this thing is solid. I can't flex it at all. Um, there's no flex, it, it really worked good. Yeah, we set it up onto the gantry here. It pops on real nice. There's no play this way, doesn't rack, and it really moves nice and easy. We can set a heavy weight on it and it travels the same. And again, no, no rack, no play. And by moving these set screws, we can adjust this angle on there. Well, we got all the pieces cut for the plasma cutter. We're just gonna uh, take the burrs off with the flap disc, so we'll get started with that.
working on the final assembly of the frame for the CNC plasma cutter and uh, we're just bolting the legs on. Uh, remember we, we did cut, uh, we did print spacers for each one of these so when we put the spacer in we uh, don't, um, we don't crush the tube. So we've got, we've got the tubes in, our bolts, we're going to line up the spacers. Just with um, one, two, three bolts in here, how tight and how, how this squares up real nice. Just need to snug the bolts up. And move to the other leg. simple we just drilled holes on one inch drilled holes on three inch so everything was a one inch and a three inch so it all went together uh, real simple now we're gonna work on getting the final beam on the top for the yeah that the gantry runs on so we got the gantry assemble, assembly uh, mounted up here for the y-axis um, sitting there pretty good we're just gonna mount the arm for the x-axis so We'll set this up on there. We'll drop in a few of these things. And then we're moving. Um, very little play here. We're just getting it set up. This move is very easy. Uh, one thing about our bearing block design here is on these two axes we have three different allen screws to put load on the bearing the uh, bearing shaft in here is slotted on this plane and on this plane the opposite two planes they're solid so that'll allow us to get the proper preload on the bearing but if we just look now all our bearings are spinning and uh, we have very <laughs> I mean none little bit this way but the weight of that should hold that down that's just going to be um, if we haven't tried to level it you just saw the first mount of it so we're really happy with how this is looking just takes a few ounces of force and the next step is um, to work on the lead screws get the motors and the lead screws mounted but we we really like the way our tables coming so we picked up this uh, water pan off of Amazon and it's meant for a washing machine drain pan in case you have a leak on a washing machine. It is stainless steel, it's two and a half inches deep, and this thing cost us more than the rest of the machine so far. So this was 129 bucks off of Amazon. We maybe didn't need it, but we thought it'd be nice to have the water pan. And so we have more into this than we do into the rest of the machine so far. Kind of goes against our budget, but it's a nice addition. We designed it so it can fit in, uh, drops in, sits on there. We do have to put the slots in or the slats in yet. Um, that'll be the last step we do. And we'll, it's a 28 by 32, so we'll be able to get a full cut in those dimensions on this unit we're building. So with the addition of the water pan, that's where we stand now. Um, we're still waiting on a few motors and boards to come in from online uh, with that we appreciate you guys sticking around at the end of the video make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, we plan using this thing for more of our cart builds you know granted we're up in the northern part of the country and it's it's 15 below zero today and we can't really work out in the garage it's just too cold so we've got this down in the shop in the basement and we're trying to get some things ready for 
uh, when it warms up a little bit, we can start building again. So thanks for watching. What's this gantry? The the Y? The X. Okay. Go ahead. So we printed this piece for the Y axis. And so we printed this part for the Y axis. What? It's the X. Okay. Okay. So we printed this part for the X axis. <laughs>